Hello and welcome to the AFL Auto Blends 3D Car Creation Channel. This is the next in the 1905 Star Gordon Bennett race car. Um, in the next episode, this is just an introductory um, part really um, to say what's next to do um, and that will be the wheels. I'm going to have a go at the wheels. I was going to do a bit more on the back chassis but I quite um, enjoy the the um quite enjoy the challenge of the wheels now looking at the wheels here um i think what's quite evident is that the front wheels are different to the back um if you look at the front um we've got this configuration um, which is that we're not too tricky um, so we'll do those first but then you look at the back and they're totally different. There's um, obviously these curves here, these cut cutouts or depressions, whatever you like to call them there. And there's a back plate there, and this is obviously because of the rear wheel drive and the um, chain drive that goes around there. So we'll be, we'll be concentrating on the external piece of this. Um, so if we look in the um, I've picked up two images and if we look at the top one first they, this is a good image of the front wheel so essentially what we I would imagine in the old days anyway the, the this was wood but I, I would think that's probably wood um, with a metal plate with a metal plate on there um, we will model this um, and the tar configuration as it is there. In the old days, it would have had um, solid wheels, but we're going to put uh, air or pneumatic wheels on. So that's the front. So as you can see, they're sort of, these are riveted in, um, and we'll be dealing with this part first. The, the this part will do as a, as a separate thing. Um, so I would imagine that there's probably two episodes to get that wheel correct. And then we'll be looking at the rear wheels. Now the rear wheels are a bit more a bit more um complicated. Um I'm not sure if this is a plate that's sort of bolted onto the wheel. Um, we will look at it in that way I think um, but it certainly looks to me that that is a plate that's bolted on so these wheels are fashioned and then this area here is flattened off um, on each one and then a plate with that configuration is put on and then another plate on top of that um, and then you've got these little these little dimple type things um, on the external piece of the wheel. I think essentially that the wheel is 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 flush all the way round. The, in, the internal part of the wheel is flush all the way round, apart from the this edge. So what we'll do is put um, we'll have a loop cut running around here, um, both sides. Then we'll have another loop cut that's fairly close up to it, and then we'll just pull down either one or two vertices to get that effect. I think that's the easiest way to do it. Um, so again, that will, this will take um, a couple of episodes, I imagine. So we're going to be on wheels for the next three, four, five videos. Um, but I just wanted to, um, um, to explain this one to you before we started. Um, but all very exciting. I will use the um, I will I will use the top um, blueprint, which is not correct, but I'll use that to get um, just to get the wheels in place, really, um, and the right sort of thickness. But we'll, again, we'll eyeball we'll eyeball the. Um, yeah, these these images just incorrect. The the one we're working to is this, um, and 
So we'll just eyeball this to get the right sort of width. I mean, on reflection, this tire and wheel look bigger than that one. Um, not sure about the diameter, um, but certainly the thickness of the tire. So that that will be reflected in our. And you can understand it in today's driving that you'd probably need a thicker tire at the back on a vehicle like this. Um, particularly when it's chain driven and uh, the turning the turning circle would put great um, great stress on the rear. So essentially the both wheels look the same, similar sort of size. But we'll check that when we do the um, when we start the model. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, we'll see you in the next episode. I'm hoping to get another one done today. If not, it'll be tomorrow, um, and it'll be the start of the wheels. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.